is Karen Cornell, your CM advisor, and I am here to tell you about day eight of the 12 scrapping days of Christmas, and I am going to share with you all the different page options that Creative Memories offers to you. So we have lots of options. We have regular refill pages in eight by eight and 12 by 12, and eight by eight, and 12 by 12 come in same four colors. They come in white, Fargo, natural, and black. The 12 by 12 pages come 16 in a pack and they're $29.50. The eight by eight comes 12 in a pack and they're $20.50. And remember all the pages, the refill pages come with pages and page protectors. But if you just need page protectors, the eight by eight are $10.50 or, or no, sorry, 650 and the 12 by 12 or 1050, sorry. But um, those are how most people scrapbook are with regular pages. New item that came out a couple months ago that you may not have known is the 8 by 8 came out with single side loading pages, pocket pages. So you can slide in from the side, not from the top, but from the side for these 8 by 8 pocket pages. Um, another size that we have is get my 12 by 12 out of here is eight and a half by 11 and eight and a half by 11 is great for documents it's great for programs it's great for class pictures so um i use that in my daughter's album for her school picture let me show you how i did that so here is her school picture in her album and um I just gave it a quick little title on the back is the class picture. But this is um, this is how I just insert her their school pictures. I put an eight and a half by 11. It fits right in um, right where um, you connect the album. So it's perfect. And so these are these eight and a half by 11 are perfect for that. Another type is pocket pages and pocket pages you can use in your everyday scrapbooking, especially if you like a certain collection and you like the front and the back of every single page. This is perfect because you can use the front and if you're a really good planner, you can use the back of that paper by just sliding out this, this cardstock. Every pocket page comes with this cardstock. This is photo safe cardstock. It's thicker than our 60 pound regular cardstock. But I use this for journal boxes, um, stuff like that, especially those, you know, oops, I messed up my journaling and now I need to make a journal box. And I know that's never happened to any of you, never. Um, but wink, wink, right? So these are great for also just sliding in stuff. Like if you have children and you have their artwork or their, you know, report card or, anything I you can slide it in here I did do a green cardstock in the background just to make it coordinate with the other page and I did attach these but in other pages I just slid them in and put a whole bunch in there and it was fine because I can pull it out and look at it and and and, and do what I want with it but this way I can see her artwork I can slide it in and out and um, I, I I just love how easy it is to use slide in pages in an album and you can i love how with creative memories you can use lot interchange all of the pages which is really great because they have all the same jeeping is all in the same spot so the last page type of page they have is multi-pocket pages and multi-pocket pages are great when you have a lot of pictures from an event and you just are don't want to scrapbook every single picture but you want them in your album um this is great for this but i don't like how how this is clear on the sides and i don't like how flimsy it is so what i do is i take a piece of cardboard that you get in all, all of creative memory stuff comes in with cardboard and then you are going to get an exacto knife and i keep my exacto knife in my personal trimmer inside here where it's safe I don't want to keep it in my tool bag or anything because this blade, I don't have a cover for it. And this blade is very, very sharp. 
and it can hurt you. So, and I've seen it hurt somebody. So it was bad. So anyway, so you're gonna take this and you're going to make little cuts at the top and you're gonna cut it until you can get cut through. And you're gonna make sure you can cut through with your multi-purpose tool, just like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. And you're just gonna take, you're gonna cut it. And then you're gonna take your multi-purpose tool and make sure it's all open. Then you're gonna cut some cardstock. And you're gonna cut your cardstock using your straight trimmer. And you can do cardstock, you can do designer paper, you can do something else that I'm gonna show you later. Um, but cardstock is the easiest because it's the thickest, but it's still easy to maneuver. So this side is the five eighths and this side is a half an inch, but it's a half an inch plus when you, um, a little bit further than a half an inch. Um, not, not all the way, but just, a, I call it a, a half an inch plus. So, and then you just slide it in. See how easy that is? Then you just slide this in. But that gives you a little bit more stability. Now, these white pieces of cardstock are photo safe. Save them, use them for journal boxes, use them um, for you know helping with labeling with photos or whatever. It's it's totally fine to use these. Do not throw them away. Find a use for them. I use them like I'll write four by six photo or I'll cut it four by four so I can help with placement of photos sometimes. So that, that helps, um, but these are great for that as well. Now, let me show you how I use it. So this one, I, I, I took a play on the, what about uh, the, what a zoo two paper pack and the textures with the zebra print. And what I did is I, I cut it like an inch, a little over an inch on one side and I scored it down the middle using my scoring blade of my trimmer. And then I folded it in half and then I taped it and then I slid it in. So that way I have, it's a little bit thicker because I have two pieces and, but I wanted the zebra print on both sides. And this one you would just do five eighths. So that would be 10 sixteenths, which would be whatever. So, but it would, you do that and then you score in the middle at five eighths and then you um, go ahead and tape it down and fold it in and it works great. Now, this is one that I'm really proud of. My favorite one I've done yet. I actually used a laser border. I've never done that and I did it and I went, whoa. So um, I wanted to get the green and the red on this one, I wanted to do something different. So this is just the red folded, scored and folded in half. And I like folding it because the designer paper is thin and it's just, it bends too much when you're trying to slide it in. Um, so this is cardstock. And then I did a laser border on both sides. I know you're ooing and eyeing. I just know it. But um, th this was a, a really cool moment. I was very proud of myself on this. Um, but a great way to use up all these laser borders that I have. Um, and then you remember you can use peekaboo pockets. You can slide in variety mats, the four by six size in here and use it as a journal. You could use it as um, just a memory, like a um, title for it. Lots of options for it. Just use these, the multi-purpose, multi-pocket pages, it's really hard to say a lot, um, are really fun. Like here, I used just a variety mat on here and I did the lights here. And, but that, that just, it, it just ties it all together. So um, I highly recommend using these multi-pocket pages in your scrapbooking. Use a variety of, of, of these pages because it's really, it, it, adds a lot to your album. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day. And it is only 14 days until Santa comes, y'all. Just so you know. Uh, thanks for staying with me. This is day eight.
of the 12 scrapping days of Christmas.